Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about real-time adaptation in Language Weaver Edge. What is real-time adaptation? Real-time adaptation is one of the smart machine translation features that is available in Language Weaver Edge, and this allows users to suggest alternative translations. So how does it work? Well, most of the time, machine translation output will be a good translation of the original text. However, you can make changes in the translated text to adapt it to your various needs. This suggested translation will be stored in the system pending approval. Once it is approved, it will be used on top of the machine translation output. In this way, the next time you translate the same text, either from the user interface or via the API, the modified translation will be used. Before I show you how it works, we should answer who can suggest an alternative translation and who can approve it. Well, any user can suggest an alternative translation from the user interface. Users with an administrative role or a linguist role are able to approve the suggested translations. So let's take a look at this feature. I have some German text here, and there is one main change that I would like to make in the target translation. I can see that the translation of this acronym, LSBTIQ, is not correct in English. The first thing that I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to isolate this sentence here within the paragraph. Now I will submit my change. I can do that by clicking on this pencil. I click on suggest a better translation, and let's go ahead and make the change. We're going to change it to LGBTQ+. After I've done that, I can click on the Improve button. When I do that, it goes into a feedback queue awaiting approval by a linguist or an administrator. I am an administrator of the system, so I'm actually able to approve my own feedback as well as all of the feedback that is submitted for the account. I can look at feedback in two different ways. I can click on the bars here on the right-hand side. I can also click on manage and then go to feedback. When I do this, I'm able to see all of the different feedback that has been submitted for the account. I can also just isolate my feedback by clicking on the My Feedback button. Here I can see the feedback that I just submitted. If I'd like to take a closer look at it, I can click on the pencil. When I do that, it'll open up the new screen so I can take a look at this in a bit more detail. From either this screen or the previous screen, I'm able to approve or reject the individual pieces of feedback. One important thing to note is that when you reject feedback, it is not automatically deleted. It just goes into a rejected queue and the new translations are not applied. But here, I will approve this feedback. So now that the feedback has been approved, let's take a look at what this looks like in context. So I can paste the entire paragraph over again, and I can see now that the acronym that I had included in my feedback before is now correctly applied in the entire target translation. Before I close, I wanted to add a few considerations for this feature. The first is that feedback should be provided for individual sentences, not for full paragraphs. The second consideration is that translations that are stored in a dictionary will always have priority over feedback that's provided in this mechanism. The third consideration is that the provided feedback is relevant for a specific language pair version. If the language pair model is upgraded to a newer version, the previously approved feedback will not be applied. Thank you very much for watching this short demo. If you do have any questions at all, please reach out to your RWS representative. Thank you.